Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Mark and this is my Daddy Diary, episode 38. Before I get started, there were just a couple of things I wanted to mention. If you have any questions for the Q&A video that I'm going to do, which is the Q&A for when Sophie was six to nine months old, pop them in the comments down below so that I can add them into the video if you've got any burning questions and whatnot. I would much appreciate it. I'm looking forward to filming that one. And also I wanted to say a massive thank you to all of the people that sent me messages and comments after the previous daddy diary um, just the messages of support and everyone's goodwill and being really lovely they are really they were really appreciated I really really appreciate it because if you've watched the last video um, the two weeks two and a half weeks were really really tough it has got a little bit better she's not tantruming quite as much as she was so you know, I think we're coming out of that little cycle, as it were. It was just a build-up of absolutely everything. I've got a lot going on, and it just completely blew my mind a little bit. So a massive thank you to everyone that sent such kind words of support and love and all that stuff. I really appreciate it. Thank you very, very much. On to this week, and as I've just mentioned, it has been a lot better. There's been a lot less tantrums. Um, we actually tried out a trick that was suggested by Leslie Strong in the last video in the comments. And she mentioned just trying to maybe communicate what we're doing a little bit more with Sophie. Even though she won't understand a single word we're saying, she knows that we're addressing her, we're talking to her, we're not just walking out of the room and ignoring her. And actually, it has helped. She has been a lot, lot better if we just sort of say, I'm just going to go to the toilet or I'm just going to go and make a cup of tea or whatever. Just addressing her, talking to her seems to calm her, her a little bit before we leave the room. So thank you very, very much to Leslie for that suggestion. I'd never heard of it before. And I guess you just take it for granted because you don't talk to your babies in that kind of conversational way, I just kind of never thought that it what it would be like from her perspective, I guess. So, and just addressing her and communicating with her before we walk out of the room makes the world of difference. So that's that's been a really big help. Obviously, she still has her little tantrum meltdowns when she gets a bit of separation anxiety, but it has been a lot lot better on that front so yay <laughs> so I don't have to keep beating myself up because she's screaming at me all the time which is always very very positive there haven't been any real major developments over the last week but there are a couple of things I did want to mention just because they're kind of funny <laughs> one of them is she is definitely beginning to recognize herself in mirrors <laughs> which is quite fun. When she's in the car, we have a mirror, obviously because she's rear facing, um, so we have a mirror there so that we can see her face when we're on a journey. And then in our living room at home, we have a big display cabinet and it has a mirror in the back. And when you pick her up and hold her and look into this, well, basically any time she's near a mirror, she sits there pulling faces into the mirror. And it's almost like she's practicing different faces. Like yesterday, she was fake laughing into the mirror. It's almost like she wanted to see what her face looked like when she was laughing. <laughs> that's kind of what it seemed like. I don't know if that's the thing. But yeah, she's been sort of practicing facial movements and pulling faces in the mirror it's quite funny and she loves to poke her tongue out at herself and all that kind of stuff so that's been really good fun she is also clapping herself now I can't remember if I've mentioned that one or not but she is clapping now so and she does that particularly likes to do that in sort of reaction to when someone else claps she'll clap back for you which is good fun and she's also reacting to particular words quite a lot as well so we've been using a lot of like funny words uh, nanny loves to use the word bazinga because it seems to crack her up don't know why and i play peekaboo a lot and she seems to be more amused by the sound of the word peekaboo than the actual hiding and revealing 
game. <laughs> which again is a lot of fun, it's caused a lot of laughter. The other thing that's happening a lot is when she starts laughing, I then laugh, but because I'm laughing, she reacts to the laughter. So she tries to sort of mimic the laughter. So then we just end up in a downward spiral of laughter, which after the last couple of weeks has been a great relief, I can tell you. And then finally, the other little thing that she's been doing over the last week or so is that she shakes her head a lot and she always has shaked her head a lot but even quite early she started doing a head shake but now she seems to be doing it in context <laughs> i don't know if that's because she's obviously recognized that we often shake our head when we don't want her to do something but basically when we're feeding her you say oh, do you want some more lunch <laughs> and, and, but she does it for everything like you ask her a question and I don't think she realises it's a question, it's just a reactionary thing. We have tried to get her to copy and mimic us nodding as well, but at the moment she only kind of nods with her whole body, so it's kind of like this whole throw herself back and forth thing, and she was in her ball pit, and she literally nodded herself onto her front, which was amusing for us, not for her. Um, but she, she is getting there. Like I say, there's just there's been a lot more reaction to what we're doing obviously she's becoming more aware of what we're doing and what we're saying and reacting accordingly that pretty much sums up what this week has been like if i'm really honest the only other thing that we did we went to blue water we were supposed to be going down to a theme park um, but the weather as you probably know has been atrocious so we didn't do that we went somewhere indoor so we went down to blue water and obviously went to the disney store and I actually bought her her first ever plush doll. <laughs> I couldn't resist, I'd kind of put off doing it. I didn't know when would be a good time to get her one. But yeah, so we went with Rapunzel, obviously. Those of you that know the story know why Rapunzel was the one we chose. But she seems to really like it. She's really enjoying it and throwing it around by its hair, <laughs> which is great fun. Um, but, but that's kind of it this week it's not been a major week which in all honesty i am grateful for there's not been too much change there's not been too many tantrums things have just been a little bit more chilled this week i am currently on a massive countdown to the weekend you'll remember i mentioned it probably before christmas that i am indeed going to see the spice girls yes <laughs> i literally cannot wait for this concert so I'm going to be leaving Sophie with Dada he she's going to go and see Nana for the afternoon and I'm going I'm taking my mum to go up to Wembley Stadium to go and see the Spice Girls and I'm so freaking excited I can't wait it's going to be an absolutely incredible day I am sure now I do I would really really love to do a vlog of the day but obviously I know that there are restrictions on bags and so on when you're at the venue and so I don't really want to take too much equipment with me and then have it confiscated or not be able to take it in or any of that kind of drama. So I am going to try and piece together a vlog but it will all depend on how steady the footage comes out which if you've seen some of my vlogs if I haven't got the gimbal to keep it steady I have the worst steady hands known to man so <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm not entirely sure how it's going to come out I'll do my best because I think it would be really great as a daddy adventure because this is probably one of the bigger daddy adventures I will get to do and so I would really like to vlog it and I'm rambling now so I'm just going to leave it there I will say a massive massive thank you as always to each and every one of you that come along and watch the videos that like the videos that comment on them Obviously, if you've enjoyed this one, hit that like button. And if you want to carry on seeing more content from us, give us a good subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.